Hey everyone, gonna do another shooting video here. It's going to be uh, gonna be shooting the 5.2 gram chrome steel ball bearing. At I'm gonna try for another 500 psi shot here, but I'm gonna be shooting uh, with 500 psi at a two liter bottle of frozen water, and also at the laptop, and see if we can't make one of those bearings go all the way through the laptop. I actually shot it a couple days ago at 500 psi and was able to get it all the way through so we're going to see if we can replicate replicate that again um, as you can see my gun looks a little bit different uh, I ended up painting that barrel shroud black a couple days ago just haven't gotten around to shooting a video of it until now um, it's really simple it's just a couple of fittings and then a PVC shroud that's painted black and then as I stated in one of my earlier videos there's also some foam rubber in between the PVC and the stainless steel barrel uh, to help center the barrel inside there. Um, next mod I'll probably do is going to be, I bought a laser, um, or sorry, a, a red dot scope that I'm going to have to make a mount for and mount it on here. So stay tuned for that in later videos, but uh, let me get everything set up here, get this gun pumped up to 500 PSI and my targets out and we'll take a couple shots and that'll be that okay so I've got the uh, two liter bottle out there with the uh, water the frozen well, frozen water aka ice in it and gun is loaded up with the 5.2 gram bearing and we're at about 490 psi um, I don't know how high that compressor will go I haven't maxed it out yet um, there are a couple things on my gun I want to make a little better. It doesn't leak or anything, um, but there's there's one area where I'm not very satisfied with um, the threads on it. So in order to take it past 500, I'm going to modify that. I'll probably include that in my next video if I can get the part made before then. Um, so soon I'll be trying to max out that uh, smaller compressor and see what kind of PSI that will do. Um, but as for now, like I said, we're at about 490 PSI with a 5.2 gram bearing and we're all lined up to go here. So I uh, finally got a dumb little tripod for my camera. So hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more of what's going on here and I can use both hands to steady my shot. Uh, but enough talking, let's get to shooting. There's the shot, and let's go take a look at what it did. Oh yeah, that did a number on it. Um, <laughs> and it looks like it uh, made it just about all the way through there. Uh, I believe this is going to be it protruding out the back. In fact, it may have even come all the way out. Uh, so, as per usual, let me pause this and uh, we'll take a look here at uh, what exactly it did. Alright guys, I had a minute to poke around inside here and in all honesty, I'm not entirely sure what happened this time. Uh, there is a large hole, hopefully you can see this, there's a large hole down inside there. Uh, that's about how deep it goes up to uh, my second knuckle there. Um, just a super large hole and it looks like what it actually did is um, it actually blew some of this ice back. Um, trying to pull it right out. Uh, in fact, yeah, there are pieces loose inside there. It more or less blew that chunk out. Um, I was unable to find the bearing. I'm not sure if it uh, ended up just ricocheting off of there and back out. Uh, but let me get another bearing loaded up here. And uh, we'll shoot at this laptop here again. I'm going to try shooting it from the rear here and see what happens. Uh, once again, we'll probably shoot for about 500 PSI. Uh, and so yeah, let me get that set up and we'll go from there. Before I do that, let me just say a quick thing um, about this knife here. This is uh, SE Azula 2 with the uh, micarta scales on it. 
Um, if you're into knives, I highly suggest this knife. Uh, it's my EDC knife. Take it everywhere with me. Um, it's just a really good tool, all around tool. I use it for cutting cardboard at work, tape, uh, zip ties, and then around home, um, you know, I'll cut cheese with it, you know, pizzas, whatever. Uh, it's a great knife, lifetime warranty. Uh, I'm not getting paid at all for this. Uh, I just, I think it's a great knife. Um, fairly cheap for what it is. I have the steel version, they also make a stainless version. Um, but yeah, definitely worth checking out. I was just using it to pull some of the ice out of the bottle before. Uh, like I said, take it with me everywhere. Always carry it on me. So if you're into knives, make sure to check out the SE Azula 2, uh, made in USA. I believe it's made in Ohio uh, or Nebraska. Don't remember off the top of my head, but awesome knife. All right, guys, I'm back. Once again, got a chrome steel ball bearing loaded up, 5.2 grams. Uh, this time we're at just a little bit over 500 PSI. I'd probably say about mm, 510. Um, so yeah, gonna be taking a shot at the back side of the laptop and we'll see just how far it makes it through. Let's go take a look. So there's right where it hit. Hopefully that's uh, visible to you guys. And let's uh, take a look at just how far it went through. And it, it's looking good, I believe. I'm 90% sure that this uh, little dent right here, this indent is just from the ball bearing just now. And I believe it probably came back and penetrated a little bit into the laptop. Let's open it up and take a look. Yep, sure enough, I don't know if you saw it, but the ball bearing did just roll out here. Here it is. Um, I don't know which one of these it is, um, but it definitely went through here. Let's see if we can get a better view of that. Here's uh, one, I believe this is the one that it just did. Uh, so here's where it came through and let's see where I believe this is where it went into the screen and this is probably it right here I would guess just based on where I think it probably hit so almost made it all the way through looks like it bounced into the plastic cracked it and then also proceeded to uh, mar this pine board here um, let's just double check and see that that is indeed where it hit the screen. Let's close this up and see if we can't take a look here. Okay, and so it actually hit it. Yeah, that's it right there. That's where it went through. Um, this is the market made right here. And uh, maybe we can open up this plastic cover of the laptop here and get a better look inside and see exactly what it did here. Okay, yeah, you can see, hopefully you can see that at least, uh, one of those big indents. Uh, so it hit this aluminum cover and still proceeded to crack the plastic on the outside and dent the board. Um, so yeah, getting pretty powerful here, pretty pretty nasty shots with only a 5.2 gram steel ball bearing. Um, like I said, hopefully I'll be doing some mods. I gotta turn a piece, a brass piece on a lathe and hopefully I can then max out that air compressor and see just what kind of PSI it'll hold and also what kind of damage it'll do. Uh, so yeah, if you like this, feel free to like, comment, um, subscribe if you really want to, and uh, hopefully I'll get some more videos out here for you guys soon. Like I said, as always, uh, suggestions are welcome. I know I've been taking a lot of practice at this laptop here. I've got a couple more old laptops I can actually fire at as well if you guys are into that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care.